Hi everybody, I'm Kimberly Turner from cookingwithkimberly.com and today I'm going to show you an awesome recipe for Mardi Gras or for any time. It's a beautiful appetizer. I'm doing prosciutto wrapped Cajun scallops, okay? I have these beautiful sea scallops. There are eight of them here, okay? And I'm going to serve this on a bed of a salad. So I have a blueberry mango and spinach salad with a Cajun mango vinaigrette. Make sure you check out both of those recipes if you want to. So these would be lovely little poppers if you want to, or you can serve it with the whole salad, okay? So I'm starting with these scallops. They're already uh, rinsed and patted dry, okay? I'm going to wrap them in prosciutto. Prosciutto is a kind of a cured ham, and it's very, very thinly sliced. I have them very thinly sliced. And they're cold. the prosciutto is cold, so I can easily manage it. All right, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to season my scallops. I'm starting with this really great spice rub from Napa Jack's. This is Napa Jack's um, chicken and fish spice rub. This is what it looks like. They have a whole line of them. I have the citrus herb here too because I use that in my uh, dressing. Uh, but this is going to be fantastic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it more Cajun. This is kind of a Southwest flavor and we're going to kind of Cajify it. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to use a teaspoon or so, maybe a half a teaspoon because I still have a little bit left here. I'm just going to add a little bit more. A half a teaspoon of this uh, gorgeous spice rub. And I'm gonna read to you what they actually tell me is in here. Is garlic, salt, onion, orange peel spices, including chili pepper, sugar, parsley, green bell peppers, paprika, cilantro, and canola oil. So um, we're gonna make this a little bit more Cajun. They don't tell me all the rest of the spices that are in here, but uh, you know, we're gonna still add what we need to. So I'm gonna add a couple dashes of cayenne pepper to that. Make it nice and spicy. I'm using a gorgeous premium sweet smoked paprika from La Chinata. Check them out online at lachinata.com. About an eighth of a teaspoon of that. It's smoky, it's bright red color, and boy, it's a little bit spicy, but it's kind of sweet spicy. Now scallops, when they're cooked, they kind of have a sweet essence to them, salty and sweet. And that's gonna be perfect. Tiny bit of salt, a pinch of thyme, and a pinch of oregano. I'm gonna kind of grind that up between my fingers. And I'm just gonna mix that through so it's a little spicier and a little more well-rounded as a Cajun spice now. Fantastic. But the base of that spice rub is extra delicious. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to kind of uh, get some citrus on my scallops a little bit of lime, and I have some orange. If you have a lemon or grapefruit even, you could use that. But I'm just gonna use what I have already out. And I'm just, it's just gonna kind of moisten them so that this spice rub will really uh, adhere well and give a nice flavor as well. I'm preheating my oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. So let's just coat these scallops with these uh, citrus. Oh, these are gonna be so good. And I'm just going to sprinkle this uh, cajun -y spice over top of them. And we're just going to kind of get them all nicely coated. Boy, those are going to be good. So that's what we have going on right now. They're well seasoned, okay? Now I have a baking sheet prepared with a silicone mat. Now I have a baking sheet prepared with a silicone mat. This is from Bake It Fun. Really, really great silicone mat. Uh, you can use parchment if you want to. And I'm going to take one slice of prosciutto very carefully. They're so thin. So I'm going to fold that in half lengthwise. And I'm going to just wrap that scallop up with that prosciutto. Now prosciutto is a nice little it's kind of, uh, it's cured and it's a little bit salty. You're gonna wanna put these on the baking mat with the seam side down so it holds everything together. Fantastic. They're gonna be so pretty. And repeat for all of them. Again, fold that prosciutto in half and just wrap those scallops. All right, these look fabulous. They're in, they go for 15 minutes-ish until they're just cooked through. You don't want to overdo it, but these are going to be so delicious. I can't wait to show them to you. 
Okay, these guys are nearly done, but, so these guys are nearly done, but I just wanna get them a little bit crispier. Everything's cooked, but one minute under the broiler will do wonders. Oh boy, these are done. Look at how gorgeous they are. Oh man. So I'm just gonna serve them on top of the salad, or you can just serve them like that with a toothpick in them for people to, to grab easily if you're serving them as hors d'oeuvres. Well, let's get some salad bowls ready. Can't wait to try this salad too. So make sure you're getting some of the mango, some of the blueberries and that spinach. A little bit of the dressing on the salad. That citrus is really going to go beautifully with the scallops. And then get a couple of these sea scallops on top. I really don't think this could be a more beautiful plate. What more could you want? You've got the gorgeous fresh salad with the beautiful ripe mango and blueberries a fantastic spicy and sweet dressing and these uh, the prosciutto on the outside is a little bit crunchy with the sea scallops and a little bit cajun in there too this is a perfect salad well i'm excited to try this because it is one of the most beautiful salads i have to say well the salad's gone all the scallops are gone everyone came in and got theirs so let me try this Mmm. The dressing with that salad, the blueberry and mango. Mmm. First of all. Mmm. Secondly, I'm just gonna grab one of these with my fingers, but you could cut it in half. Mmm. Mmm. That is so good. Mmm. The scallops. Mmm, are moist and delicious and sweet with the salty prosciutto, a little bit crispy. Mmm, that's good. Mmm. Then you have that fresh salad. <clears throat> oh, I can't even speak. It's spicy. Then you have that fresh salad to go along with it. Mmm. That's the rest of it. So good. Mm. Mom likes the dressing. I think I'm gonna have a little bit more of that. Mmm. All these flavors just go together so perfectly. You like that, Mom? Mmm. -hmm. Mm. The blueberry and the mango are such a nice surprise in there. They go so nicely with that spicy mango dressing. And it all accompanies so well with these gorgeous sea scallops. Mmm. -hmm. Mmm. They do melt in your mouth. Mmm. Huh? Mmm. -hmm. It is nice for you too. Mmm. So this should get you ready for Lent. <laughs> it's a celebration before Lent. Not only does this taste delicious and it's healthy for you, but it looks so beautiful with all the colors. Mmm. Mmm-hmm different textural elements, silky little spinach leaves, crunchy prosciutto, the sweet tender um, scallops that are nice and juicy. Mmm. Beautiful. Well, I'm gonna get out of here because we have more to cook and more to eat and more to enjoy. So I hope that you try this out. You're gonna love this uh, appetizer, the prosciutto wrapped Cajun scallops and with the salad as well if you want to do that. But if not, they're just great poppers otherwise. Hey mom, mm -hmm. wouldn't you love that at a, at a party if someone just brought a tray of them with yeah. toothpicks? Yeah. I'd be like right next to that person walking around. Like, can I have another one? <laughs> can I have another one and another one? So check out Wine Country Kitchens online at winecountrykitchens.com for the spice rubs and all of their fantastic high quality products. Everything I've used from them has been absolutely phenomenal and it really kicks up your meals to a whole nother level. All right. So I hope that you try this recipe for shooto wrapped Cajun scallops. You're going to love it. Follow me on Twitter at Cooking with Kim E with a capital E. Like the fan page at facebook.com slash Cooking with Kimberly. 
My shows are on iFood.tv slash Cooking with Kimberly, YouTube.com slash Cooking with Kimberly, and you can find me syndicated on Roku. Come to my website at cookingwithkimberly.com and subscribe. Interact with us and let us know what's going down in your culinary world, all right? Be a champion in your kitchen and eat deliciously. Bye.